secret weapons in the kitchen. What's up guys, this is Nico from The Succulent Bite. Rachel, thank you so much for having me on the show today. We're gonna be making a popcorn on the cob using a secret weapon, which I know you guys are gonna love. So we needed something that was simulating the popcorn bag that you usually get at the supermarket, put it in the microwave and poof, all the popcorn pops. Well, here we have it, a brown paper bag. For this recipe, you'll need two of these, one corn on the cob, make sure it's dry just like this so that it actually pops in the microwave when we put it in. We're also gonna use a generous pinch of salt. I like to use thick Malden sea salt. And of course, we have that two tablespoons of olive oil. Let's get started. So we're gonna use a sharp knife to carefully cut off the pulp of the corn. Perfect. Up next, we're gonna use our brown paper bag. There you go. And we're gonna place the corn inside of the brown paper bag and we're gonna fold that twice. Now, we need a second brown bag and place the other bag inside of it. Fold it over again twice. Now, we're gonna microwave for one minute and 45 seconds. Close that nice and puffy bag. Here it is, guys. That is amazing. All we have to do now is cover it with oil. Yes, perfect. And a pinch of salt. I get the other ones too. I can't wait for you guys to try it out at home and let me know how it goes. Until then, cheers. Hi, Rach. My name is Rebecca Nieves Huffman. I'm in Chicago and I love to cook, especially Puerto Rican food. Today, I'm gonna to show you a couple of recipes using my secret, well, one of my secret weapons in the kitchen my mini waffle maker. Now, a perfect example of how this gives you a healthier twist is with bacalaitos. Now, this is a codfish fritter that is typically deep fried, but here's how I make it on my mini waffle maker. Rinse the salted codfish filet, then transfer it into a saucepan with boiling water, and you're gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes taking a cup and a half of the reserved water from that saucepan out and set it to the side to cool off. Take out the codfish and break it up into large chunks with either clean hands or two forks. Get a mixing bowl and place a cup of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of black pepper and mix it. Then you're gonna take the cooled off reserve water and mix it well until it has like a pancake batter like consistency and then you're gonna add a spoonful of sofrito you're gonna add your codfish pieces and fold it in mixing it well heat up your mini waffle maker and when ready spray with nonstick spray and using a large spoon but preferably an ice cream scooper because it is the perfect portion you're gonna scoop it up and pour it into the mini waffle maker and close it to cook about eight to ten minutes this thing is delicious. It still has crunch. Let's give it a try. Mm. So good. My secret weapon is good for sweet treats too. Check this out. Place a whole Granny Smith apple that you have skinned and chopped to two tablespoons each of butter and brown sugar. And you're gonna let that come to a boil and has kind of like a syrupy consistency amongst the apple chunks. You're gonna roll out the puff pastry sheet and take a cup or a mug or whatever item that has the same circumference as the mini waffle maker and cut out your discs. Spray your mini waffle maker with some nonstick spray and place the first disc down and a spoonful of that apple mix on top. Then brush the egg wash around the edge of the disc and place the second disc over it and press the top half of your mini waffle maker down. You can enjoy this with ice cream or by itself. So good. 